Okay, something really weird is going on with Corey Perry and the Chicago Blackhawks. It all started when Perry was mysteriously healthy scratched hours before their game against the Blue Jackets on November 22nd. And according to reputable folks in the media, this scratch wasn't due to any on-ice performance-related reasons. So this really kick-started the rumor mill across the league, which was fueled even further when Perry was absent from the Blackhawks practice the next day, with the Hawks calling it an organizational decision. To me, that sounded like a potential trade was in the works. And I wasn't alone as the speculation regarding a possible Perry and Mrazek package to Edmonton started gaining some traction. But when asked about the possible trade, Blackhawks GM Kyle Davidson didn't really help clarify anything at all, stating it would be irresponsible to comment on any possible outcome. This has just been getting muddier and muddier for me, and it's starting to get to the point where I'm wondering if something really negative and possibly damaging happened, given how cryptic both the Hawks and Perry's team have been. The last updates we've received from either side have been kind of interesting to see too, in terms of how they're framed. Davidson first announced that Perry would be away from the team for the foreseeable future. And on top of that, he clarified that this was a team decision and not Perry's. That really doesn't sound good for Perry. But just a few hours later, Perry's agent put out the statement that Corey Perry has stepped away to attend to personal matters. I don't know about you, but those two statements from Hawks GM Kyle Davidson and Perry's agent sound completely contradictory to me. One states that it was the team's decision, while the other seems to imply that Perry stepped away on his own. So which really is it? To be honest, I can kind of understand the hush-hush nature of how the Blackhawks are dealing with this. After the whole Kyle Beach disaster, the organization could really use some time away from the drama spotlight. But I don't know if that strategy is really working, being cryptic seems to be just adding more and more eyes to this whole situation. It would have been much simpler if the team and Perry's agent had similar messaging in their announcements. Something along the lines of what Perry's agent tweeted regarding him taking time away from the team to attend to private matters would have probably been a much simpler way to make this story less controversial. But Davidson clarifying that this was a team decision and not Perry's? It's really weird. And I know Perry's reputation on the ice is of one of the biggest shit disturbers in the entire league. But everything about him off the ice seems like he's a great dude who's been well-liked everywhere he's been. And that's what makes this whole situation even stranger to me. Perry isn't someone you would typically associate with weird and cryptic off-ice issues like these. His teammates have been just as confused and in the dark as well. I'm not going to speak on anything too much. Obviously, it, it sucks he's not here, but uh, we, we don't really have too much information on it anything, or anything yet. But um, yeah, of course, he's a big part of the team and, and sucks he can't be here today. So that's where we sit right now. I hope everyone comes out of this whole situation for the better. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation down below. Thanks for watching.